Hi, I'm Tony Pellegrino, and we're out here for the 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers. This is the only race like this that, that asks a vehicle or a driver to do this kind of mixed terrain. It's going to test the, the driver's endurance and, and ability to make smart choices for eight hours. King of the Hammers is an off-road race. This race is with unlimited four-wheel drive cars. Now, it's a hundred of the top drivers from around the world. And when you think about it, a hundred drivers, that not even Daytona 500 has that. The course is devised of open desert, and then it jumps into rock sections, which are known as the, the hammer trails. This is gonna be the worst roads or trails um, all combined. So you go from going fast, then you've got to shift down real quick, get into low gear, slow yourself down, beat your way through the, the tough rock obstacles, try not to wreck the car, then when you get back through that, shift back into high range and go. So what makes this race so grueling is it's, it's really, really rugged terrain. So even what they call the open desert, is nasty cross grain and then they take you into really tough rock canyons you're taxing the equipment you're taxing yourself because you're beating around inside there just trying to hang onto the car it's you and the course i mean the other drivers are out there and they play a factor in you know which line you might take or you know battling the dust a little bit but the reality is that you've got to get through that course without damaging your car, without you know endangering you or your co-driver. The weather's a variable, 60 mile an hour winds, solid dust and just and sand just blowing through everything. So that that gets into you know your helmet, your suit, the, the car parts, you're gonna get stuck, you're gonna roll, you're gonna flat, you you've you've got every possible thing that can happen to that car is gonna happen during the day and it's how fast you and your co-driver can work through that. Okay, so these cars are a little bit unique in the fact that they've got, it's four wheel drive with a low range transfer case. By the way, that is the only rule for this class. It's an unlimited class. So any size tire, any horsepower, any wheelbase, you, you can do anything you want. It can be two seat, four seat, whatever you think would win this race, you can bring it on race day. With that in mind, we run just under 700 horsepower. We run a 42 inch tall tire. You know, as a guy, this is your your absolute dream car. Tons of horsepower, tons of suspension, tons of ground clearance. I mean, this, this thing will, it'll take you places you don't even want to go. The reason this race is so important to me is I love the Man and Machine Challenge. I love being out there in the desert and to have an opportunity like this to be out there driving it's a dream come true. This is a huge race. It's the Super Bowl of rock sports racing for sure. It takes talent, it takes a well-prepared car, and it takes a ton of luck. So on race day, it's a little bit different than when you get to pre-run the course. So now you combine that with being in the dust and you're dodging bushes and rocks and ruts and ditches, you know, and other cars, you know, that are broken down and you know, you come up on this guy in the dust, you don't even realize there's somebody parked there. Um, it's, it's a variety of things that are just, as a driver, are coming at you left and right. Your chances of damaging the car, getting in an accident, you know, something going wrong are really high. So we depend on the co-driver quite a bit. Um, he's doing all the navigation, he's doing all the communication with the pits, and um, he's watching all the gauges. He's telling me, you know, straight, straight, we got a turn coming, we got a right turn, a left turn. So not only is he talking to me, but he's making hand signals so I can see his hand waving out of the corner of my eye. Where you really need that co-driver is if you get stuck. So if you're by yourself and you get stuck, you've got nobody to help you winch. When it comes to race day, I have to trust my team guys completely. We've got 35 people on that team. It's a, it's a big team. Despite how many miles we pre-run, um, things can still happen. You can be the best prepared team and still have some just wild card thing happen and that's that's racing you know that's the way it goes down today is opening day so the hard work's all done we've got everything dialed in the car's ready to go basically it all falls on me now i've got to get out there and win this race in 2011 we came in second place 
So this year we're hoping to take the title. You work real hard, you invest everything you have, you know, time, energy, and uh, you know, the, the team's as good as it's ever been, the car's as good as it's ever been. We had quite the week coming into the race. We were changing a lot of things, trying to get the car dialed in, um, had a few mechanical issues, but we got everything worked out by race day. Race morning, everything goes off perfectly. We get a great start. We start picking people off. The car's working beautiful. I'm driving the race that I want. It's, it's absolutely the day we want. We got over to Chocolate Thunder. I didn't realize at the time that we didn't have a front locker. So I went for the first obstacle, which was kind of the gatekeeper for that trail. Hit it just like I had in uh, qualifying. And without that front locker, it just flips you over. Took a deep breath, we got out of the car, they flipped us back over. You know, we're trying to figure out if the car's okay so that we could proceed. Well, while we were out of the car, I could hear people from the crowd yelling at us, hey, it didn't look like you had front wheel drive. Unfortunately, racing king of the hammers, you don't race that race without four wheel drive. And the day was done for us. So obviously we didn't finish this year. The, the car did everything it was supposed to do. Um, we drove the race that we wanted to, but you know, it, it's racing. Everything has to come together. You know, if, it, if something is gonna rear its ugly head, it's gonna happen on race day. And unfortunately this year, that's what happened for us. But you know, we're better for it and we're coming back next year. We, we feel that we know exactly what needs to be done and we're gonna come back here next year and win it. Yeah, buddy. Yes, we did.